Okay, after a little detour. Okay. There we go. What's the name of this park? Moro. Moro. I want another car. Any more cars? Very bizarre, all the postings. Aerosol study, upper strategy for conducting high school performing arts programs. Yeah. So wait, that's don't go past the tree. This is a right of way. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't go gotta, right, left, don't go right. Got it. I just got to tell you, I've seen lots of people walking up, up here. And uh, I don't know. Nobody really seems to know where the property is. Makes sense that it makes no sense. <laughs> well, she was driving down the road that we were on that's traditionally said no motorized vehicles oh. past this point. <laughs> but they're building, so it's okay. We're already a mile in, guys. Yeah, we are? Yep. I said you'd go three. Yeah, easy. Another half mile, you can turn around and you'd be at your three. I'm good. I'll go four or five if we have to. Whatever it takes to get the job done and get the views. Tommy. Tommy's a piece of work. I'm Tommy. guilty. I'm guilty. Tommy. I'm guilty. <laughs> Is this where we normally go now? Get something on your chest. There's like a power junction box right yeah. there. See it? Yeah. Dude, you got mountain lions and stuff up here. If you got moose, you got mountain lions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no joke. Oh, I, am. I can't believe your chicken and your rooster haven't been eaten yet. We've seen some coyotes out there. Well, to... Coyotes, we got. We don't have mountain lions and moose, so. Do you just go out and get in your car and drive away? Like back out of your, like, under the moose? What do you do? Just don't get close. Oh, they got a baby. Yeah, I probably filmed them. There was a baby in the baby's eyes. Yeah, you don't want to be anywhere near that. What do they call the babies? Bulls? No. Yeah. Yearling? Yearling. Yeah. It's a yearling. It's a yearling. Yeah. I think I'm right. Oh, there's another mountain over this. It's a yearling, dude. I think I'm right. I bet you we've gained 300 feet of elevation. What's on the other side of this? You ever gone to Laramie? I have not. No. Isn't it Laramie at 7,200 feet? 72. So water's power. We need to go past that. She's talking about Laramie? No, here. Here, okay. When I first went to Laramie, I was young, right? That was your first assistant coaching job, wasn't it? Uh, second. Yeah. 
What was your first? This one over here, the Juco? Yeah. Yeah. Then I went to Laramie. I was in shape. I was young. <laughs> you know, 27. And uh, first few days, it was hard to breathe there. Really? Oh, yeah. So what's it like going there for a dual meet? Got to go three days early. And guys are cutting weight. The oxygen in your blood's completely different. Yeah, well. They got like a gimmick there. It's not a gimmick. It's like, can you feel the elevation? or what? It's, it says oh, yeah. something like that, doesn't it? Says, uh, the sign when you go into the gym says, welcome to 7,200 feet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not really a gimmick. It's How's your uh, oxygen intake? How's your oxygen or something like that? Yeah. And I like that. Oh, it's great. I like that. I like that. But, uh, you know. What do you got? Yeah, this is where we normally go, guys. Yeah, but even getting off, even getting off the plane, right? Yeah. When you're a coach going there and you get a roll in with one of your guys and you go pretty hard, you know, they're trying to get the sweater and get, get the weight off, get the jet lag, whatever it is. And, you know, you can feel it. And this is like deep into your 40s doing this too. Uh, yeah, no, you duel them. You're in your 40s dueling there. Yeah, probably last time I was there. I was yeah, 42. 42 something. That ain't easy, man. It's not. It's not easy. That means you got to be in good shape, live right, your diet, drink. You got to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Oh, the weight cut would be terrible. So you're wrestling Wyoming. Did you guys wrestle last time you wrestled? Did you beat him? Here's the one. You know? I used to be able to remember, like, a lot more stuff. If it's the age or, you know. I could, yeah. I could say the first 10 years I was coaching, probably. Well, it's harder to wrestle a duel at Wyoming, it's harder to wrestle a duel at Wyoming than any other campus. Let's, can we agree on that? Uh, yeah, I would, you know, I would say from a oxygen point of view i mean there's other places that are hostile environments with the crowd oh, okay there. sure but as far as your physical actual physically how it affects you learn me learn me's the king it has to it's be the highest i mean yeah i think you know some of that's probably true in your conditioning or your your oxygen level but you know i think if you buy into it it's more you know if you, if you don't if you don't manage your thought right if you let that anxiety build up in your head it, it, it Magnifies it. Now, all the campuses here in Washington are like relatively low. Like Washington sea level. Yeah. What do you call it? Washington State would be right around sea level or yeah. 500 feet or something. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? The one we, Cheney, that'd be like probably a thousand or something. Maybe 1500. Maybe 1500, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So it's not a lot of factors in many other places. No, it's a lot different than being in. You know, Corvallis is sea level, Oregon sea level. Yeah. You go to Laramie, you go to probably northern Colorado. But, uh, but they're on the plains, really? so they're probably at 4,500. Right. Not as high as Denver. 4,500, 5,000 at the most. Yeah, I get what you're saying, though. But big difference from being in Lincoln. Yes, very big difference from being in Lincoln. I agree. So, or in, in Kent, Ohio, or Cleveland, Ohio, or right. Edinburgh. Or... The first tournament of the year, I used, I think used to be in Omaha and uh, Cowboy Open might have been the week before I'm not sure they were back to back your weeks. first you guys had to start you had to start in Laramie yeah <laughs> I might have that wrong it, it was either Omaha or Laramie they were back to back weekends I can't remember which um, Laramie was right around Veterans Day, usually. It was a Sunday. It was either on Veterans Day, the day before, or the day after, usually. I want to say Omaha was the week before. So you went down to Omaha, and if you were training in Laramie... You want to go this way? That's you guys. Let's do that hill, man. I want to hit that hill. I mean, they're both hills. That one's more gradual to left, but I want to do this. When you went down to Omaha, you know, yeah. you were feeling like a million bucks. Well, it's crazy because I'm in the Midwest. Most of our stuff, 90% of our stuff's in the Midwest. So it never really was ever a thing, you know. We went to like Reno. That wasn't really a thing, though, you know. North Carolina. She's running it. I like it. Well, and Reno's probably even higher than some places. Yeah, Reno's, that's my point. Reno would be higher than, it would have been the highest elevation I ever competed at. There 
she goes. There she goes. She's running at K-Rob. She's a competitor. She likes to compete, doesn't she? She likes to work hard. We lost her. I lost her on the dip. I lost her on the dip. Let's see if we can get her back. There she is. There she is. There she is. Libby's pumping. Getting the job done. Look at her. You go for a Colt. Go get it, Colt. Come on, buddy. Go catch her. She's got, she's waiting for you. We got good views. Good views. We're getting better views than I thought we would. Good views, dude. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be better at the top of the hill, yeah? Yeah. And we'll do a couple more. It'll be pretty cool. That one's awesome. That one. Yeah. I like that one. Iller Creek. That's probably my favorite. I like it a lot. Um, Ten it's, minutes away. It's close. Um, dude, how about that? Like, I ran in there. How about that? Uh, the, thousands of miles in there as a kid. Hey, how about the like irrigation or like the drainage trail? You walk up where you straddle it. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Get it, Colt. Come on. You get some Come on, Colty. Where that's running. Come on, Colty. Get it. And then it's washed away, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like this on steroids. Come on, Colty. It's like this right here, Kevin. But like literally six, eight feet deep. Well, you got to be careful yeah. on the way down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I go the gradual on the way down. Yeah. If you run the way down. No. You roll an ankle, you're done. You might be hiding, Colty. You want some of that sockeye tonight? I can do some sockeye. You caught it in Alaska, right? Yeah. Love it. Sockeye's the best, man. Oh, is this a switchback? Oh, there she is. Getting the view. How's the view, Libby? Watch out for the side hill gouger, you guys. <laughs> it normally only comes down after dusk, but you never know. The days are pretty long right now. So that's Elder Creek. The top is the radio tower. Yeah. Right there. There. Right there. 1991. That has never grown back yet. Huge fire. Took out a bunch of homes up there. What? <laughs> what? Is this the top or full summit? Then it, then it kind of drops a little bit. So this is the top. We're at the top, yeah? 